everyone, I'm Lisa and welcome to Lisa's Stamp Studio. This month's project is going to be centered around birthday and we're going to make a really cute tri-fold gift card holder. It's a little bigger than normal and you're going to like it because not only will it fit more than one gift card, it will fit two. Of course, cash and checks because those are always gladly accepted as gifts as well. Don't forget, I offer studio stamps in the mail and it's a great opportunity for you to stamp with me from home. You can find all the details on my blog, the address is below, and you're going to click on the online classes tab when you get to my blog. In addition to that, I offer project PDF tutorials for some really great fun fold cards and some really outstanding projects. You're going to head over to my blog and those are also under the online classes tab. What do you say we get over and we start doing a little birthday celebrating? Here's that close-up of your gift card holder. This is way easier than it looks, so don't let this intimidate you. Belly band, gonna open it up and there's a great pocket inside. The one reason I really like this pocket is because if you're really generous and you'd like to give more than one card, they're gonna fit just slightly offset from each other. It also is great for folding cash or a check and a small area up here at the top for you to put your greeting. So let me show you how quickly this can go together. I started with a piece of crushed curry cardstock and this measures seven and three quarters by five inch. I'm gonna use my paper trimmer and I'm gonna use the scoring blade, which is the light colored blade. The black blade, again, is for cutting. So we're gonna do our scoring here at the top. And we're gonna score in two places, at two and a half inches and again at six inches. You're also going to cut a piece of crushed curry cardstock, and this measures one inch by eight inch. And versus um, folding this to create the belly band, which of course you can do, I've come up with scoring instructions for you that are going to make it a lot easier. So two and a half inches to score, and then move it over to six and one eighth, and I'm going to score again. So now we're all done. Cutting and scoring is all done my bone folder and we are going to crease on those score lines and there's the card holder and this is the going to be the belly band. I'm going to set that aside. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put some designer paper on. This comes from It's My Party Designer Series Paper Stack and I have to show this to you because this is an amazing stack of designer series paper. It's huge! And I love the fact that you've got some really fun party images on one side with some really fun just patterns on the other side. Great for guys or girls and I think you're going to get a ton of use out of it. 48 sheets in this package, four each 12 double-sided um, 12 by 12 pieces of paper. So that's where this came from. This top piece measures four and three quarters by two and a quarter, and I'm going to put adhesive on the back. Remember, as always, I've put all the dimensions for this on my blog, so you can head over there. The address is on the screen. This is going to get mounted here at the top panel. Another piece of designer paper is going to go here, and this one measures one and a half by four and three quarters. And again, whenever I do a 3D project, I tend to be a little bit more generous because I just don't want it to fall apart, especially because it's going to get handled way differently than a card. Okay, so there we go. To seal this, I'm going to recommend tear tape. And you want it strong, especially if you're going to put more than one gift card in the holder. So I'm going to push those down and I like to use my piercing tool to lift that paper off the back because my nails are short. I keep them really, really short. And then I'm going to seal this. Plenty of room for that gift card now. So that's pretty much done, but now let's decorate it. So I like to put the belly band on. Remember we've scored it. And I like to put the belly band with the raw edges in the front because we're going to hide those with a small stamped embellishment. This is a piece of Whisper White cardstock. It's just a scrap, and this is the crushed curry ink. Now, I am using a bundle in the Occasions catalog called Balloon Celebrations. This is so much fun, and I'm going to tell you why it's so awesome. Because with a 15% savings, not only can you get the stamp set, but you get this awesome balloon punch that goes with the pieces that are in it. And I love it. There's two different sizes. So that's what we're using. I'm using this small solid balloon from that set. I'm going to ink that up, and I'm going to put that here on my, my scrap white cardstock. This image is in the set, and you're probably thinking, what 
is that? Well, believe it or not, these are the helium dots. So this just gives your balloon a little bit of dimension. Tone on tone will work, and because it's photopolymer, you're gonna be able to line this up beautiful. Let me hold it up so you can see those little dots. Isn't that fun? So here's where our punch comes in. We're gonna use it upside down. You're gonna notice that one balloon goes one way, one goes the other way. I have tried everything to stamp these at the same time, and I know that there's some genius out there who's figured out how to space them apart, but I do them individually. So I'm just gonna put my paper in there. Remember, once you get it lined up where you want it, you can literally squeeze the punch to hold it in place and then just pop out your image. Love the punch too, because it's gonna be fabulous on designer paper. So here we've got our balloon. The next step is I'm going to take my one and three eighths inch circle punch, and this is designer paper, same piece, and just the other side, and I'm going to punch out a circle. And that's gonna go on here in a minute. And then I have a one and three quarter inch scallop circle punch, and I have a scrap here of basic black cardstock. So I'm gonna put these pieces together for you, but my balloon needs a string. So I've used the um, uh, Baker's Twine. This has got the basic black in it, and I'm gonna take two dimensionals, and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna secure that. One near the top, one near the bottom. Take off the paper for the one at the bottom first, and then you're gonna put your string right on it. So can I just center it where it's gonna fall, and the top, and now that, is going to go on top of this piece of designer series paper. So we've got our string. And then I flip this over, and I know you're probably thinking, it's bumpy. Yeah, it's bumpy, but it works. Now, if you wanna do that first and adhere it, you can. And that is gonna get centered right here in the middle of the scallop circle. So look at, look how cute. So now let's go ahead and put this together. I am going to take it off because I don't want to get adhesive on my holder and I'm going to put, oh, I'm going to say maybe two rows um, on top of the edge there. And then I am going to connect these. Now, important, don't make this belly band too tight because remember it's going to expand when you put something in it. And then this you can put as high or as low as you want, but the whole clue here is you're supposed to hide that seam where this meets, which will be easily done. So I'm actually going to put the adhesive here instead of here, otherwise you might miss. So I'm going to put a couple rows of tape here, and then I'm going to take my balloon, and I'm going to tip it, and I'm going to put it like this. Now this is obviously a little bit too long, so I'm going to give that a haircut. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Now I will tell you, um, you can cut a piece of Whisper White cardstock to go inside the top. That'll give you a great area to put a sentiment. These words are from the exact same stamp set. This is just loaded with fun greetings. This measures two and a quarter by four and three quarters, if I'm not mistaken. I'll make sure that it's on my blog. But that's it, it's really simple. I have one other one to show you. This just happens to be in mint macaron. And I've got a little tip for you if you'd like to add a little bit of sparkle. I found that the Wink of Stella, the clear, on this balloon really shows up that helium spot. So I took my wink and I rubbed it down here at the bottom where those little helium bubbles are. And not only did it just accent that paper a little bit, but it just kind of adds a little shimmer to your card. So here we've got the one that we've done in the Crush Curry, and here's the one in the Mint Macaron. I'm so glad you joined me. Remember, you can go over to my online store right through my blog address and order there, and I'll send you a free featured project PDF tutorial with any size order. I also offer stamps in the mail, and it's a great time to jump on board and get your stamp set and pre-cut package to stamp with me at home. I look forward to seeing you next time, everyone, and I hope you have a great week.